McConnell's guiding principle in every instance is he will do whatever it takes to acquire more power for himself. And, you know, I think other Senate Republicans are lucky because usually uh, acquiring more power for himself means helping them get reelected so that they can, you know, build a Senate majority and put McConnell in the majority leader's seat. I think that if if <laughs> if their interests didn't align, he would quickly throw them all overboard. But but that is how he acquires power is by winning re- elections for Senate Republicans, and so that's what he does. Um, but no, you're right. I mean, I think that the fascinating thing about his career is he was a reformer. I mean, he was sort of a liberal Republican in his early iteration of his identity, um, and he quickly shifted gears once he realized how useful uh, money could be to further his own political interests. Um, but the, the the hallmark of his career is doing things to win that other people thought were outside the bounds of normal political discourse at the time. The campaign finance fight was a great example of this because what he did was he took the unpopular positions that other Republican senators didn't want to take, and he took the heat for them, and that helped him acquire power. Campaign finance has always been a very popular issue. It's been popular to want to get money out of politics. Uh, It is unpopular to say you want more money in politics, but McConnell was willing to say that out loud in a way that other politicians didn't want to do. They, you know, privately wanted there to be more money in politics, but they weren't stupid enough to come out and say it. Um, But McConnell did. And by doing so, he won a lot of credit with his fellow Republicans because they were happy that he was out here advocating for this position so that they could all go pretend that they were in favor of campaign finance reform. You know, this was a formative experience for him. And he realized that he could acquire power by taking the heat, by being the unpopular guy. This is why you see him leaning into things like the cocaine Mitch meme, you know, or the idea embracing the, the description of him as the grim reaper for legislation. He leans into these negative stereotypes because being the villain uh, himself allows other senators to have running room and and get some distance. Um, so you know he is a vicious operator and and completely ruthless. 